Hey everyone, it's me, Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a short video. I'll be talking about my follow-up appointment that I had two weeks after my top surgery with Mr. Morris. So I got to Plymouth super early because I wanted to take a direct train there and not having to do random changes to get all the way to Plymouth. So I got there really early, but I killed some time by doing loads of things. I actually can't remember what I did, to be honest. I got to Plymouth and everything was fine and chill. Uh, after wait after being in the waiting room for not that long, to be honest, Mr. Morris took off my dressings and yeah, he was really impressed of how well it's been healed up. As you saw it from my one month post-op video, you've seen the results of how that's been and that's been really cool and amazing. So yeah, so he gave me some tape to put over my scars, as, you see, as you've seen from my other video. He also gave me some plasters that, and also these like iodine patches that I had to put like over my nipple and then the plaster on top for like about a week. To be honest, I ended up taking the plasters off like the day before it was actually a week because I got really impatient, but also because they only gave me like a pair of plasters so I could I had to be kind of really careful because I move around a lot so <laughs> they the plasters would end up coming off and then I know one patch of I the I I didn't patch kind of fell out this one random time I had a friend over it was really awkward <laughs> Mr Morris then gave me a survey sheet for me to fill out about my care and the treatment that I got received from the Nuffield Health and about him as well and the yeah it's just laser tick boxes to it was it wasn't even that much it was just like a page and a bit on the other side so i filled that out for him and then he asked me if i could send him pictures of my chest uh three months post-op and i said yeah that's totally fine he even like drew me a, like a small diagram thingy and an email where i can send it to him so that's what i'm gonna do when it gets to my three months post-op i also forgot to tell you that mr morris said if i do have any other questions or queries in terms of like with my chest and how i've been healing up he said he said that i can like openly like give him a call or just like email him if i have any queries which is really nice because like i think he wants to know how how, how my well-being is after his top surgery as well so but yeah he's a really nice person he really is i also want to touch upon the my care and the treatment that i got from the nuffield health hospital to be honest there is a survey thing i need to actually fill out i keep forgetting but i will do that i really enjoyed my time there and everyone was really lovely they treated me super well and they made like my recovery there for like the first two nights post-op like go really smoothly. So my top surgery was funded by the NHS and the Nuffield Health just took care of me and Mr Morris took care, took care of me as well. So I didn't pay for anything except for having to like go to Plymouth and the accommodation stuff which I'm so grateful that my mom sorted out like for me. It was just great. Um, she was very lovely and very supportive during that time. I'm really satisfied and really happy about like how everything looks. Like even I, I still feel a bit surreal that I actually have nothing I'm not wearing a binder. I, that's probably one thing I'm. It's gonna take a while to get used to. It's not wearing a binder, even though I have my two binders. But speaking of binders, I will probably do like a binder giveaway. But I will. I'll, I'll probably do a binder giveaway. But so keep keep, keep some tabs on that. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why that's it. I will be doing a binder giveaway. So I will be doing that in sometime in the future. So yeah. So that will that will eventually happen. But I will you all know about that soon. Uh, more details later. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.